I'm so done with hearing about marijuana or pot or whatever. Weed isn't a huge deal. Not as big of a deal as, say, alcohol. People tend to exaggerate it and they make it a bigger deal than it really is. <laughs> I do think that it does have good medical potential, good uses in terms of medical treatment. I have seen videos, there are some, I know that there are some people who require uh, marijuana, you know, in order to function normally as a painkiller. Teenagers have stopped thinking about marijuana as a serious topic for two main reasons. First of which is the medicalization of marijuana and the second of which is the legalization of marijuana in Washington and Colorado. All they have to do is go to their doctor and tell their doctor they have whatever ailment they have, toothache, acne, backache, can't sleep, stressed out at school, and uh, the right doctor will write them a prescription for medical marijuana. They don't know the serious effects that it actually has on the human body. Paranoia, hallucinations. Seeing young lives destroyed, um, families destroyed over the effects of driving under the influence of substances. And it's a, it's a passion of mine to get the message out and make sure that, that people are responsible. It, it only becomes a big deal when people like drive or become other, otherwise like preoccupied while under the influence. Marijuana is the type of drug that impairs a person's ability to be able to divide their attention effectively and efficiently. When you're driving a vehicle, you're dividing your attention between numerous tasks. Marijuana can affect your ability to judge stopping time, speed, distance, and a, a whole host of other areas that are required for you to operate a vehicle safely. As far as having a legal limit in the blood um, for driving, there's not. Um, there is no amount that any chemist or any court will agree on that actually impairs someone, unlike alcohol. They may not even know that they're high when they get into the car. The euphoria only lasts for a certain amount of time, but the impairment lasts a lot longer. It was around midnight, and it was raining very hard in the valley that night, and these kids decided to go to one of the dispensaries before it closed at 2 a.m. to get medical marijuana. They were traveling at a high rate of speed. Um, they had been smoking marijuana all evening and lost control and the car spun out and went into a large uh, retaining wall. The um, intrusion on the passenger, front passenger side, went all the way through the driver's seat. So the uh, young man who had Crohn's disease died immediately at the scene and his other, the driver and the rear passenger were seriously injured and their lives were absolutely changed forever as a result. I don't think it's dangerous, it's just the way you use it. It doesn't really like bother me or affect me, so. It could be solved pretty quickly. Society's being very lax about its use. It's just a total embracement of this used to be seriously considered an illegal drug. You got the, the rapper groups, the music industry, movies, you know, all that, all that stuff you see, people smoking, using drugs, and they see the their idols using it, so they said, well, these guys use it, they follow everything that they do. In mass media, it marijuana or weed, pot, whatever you want to call it in general, is just kind of like this happy-go-lucky, I'm, you know, just chilling type of deal. It has no really big side effects as it's portrayed, and um, it's kind of like, it's a, it's a whatever thing. However, I believe it's really overrated because majority of the songs nowadays are about marijuana. I do find it kind of disturbing that, you know, a lot of celebrities are popularizing the use of marijuana. And, you know, you see it all the time in TV shows, R-rated movies, music videos. The number of marijuana users drastically increased, especially after they allowed the marijuana shops to be open. And the age of users is decreased. Like if before, the addicts were like starting 22, 23 years old, getting into active addiction. Now it's 16, 17.
I feel that marijuana is a big deal for the youth today because it's easy for them to get exposed and it's easy for them to in turn get addicted due to the young age. I think that it's very bad for the public as well as the kids of this generation because they're exposed to it way too much nowadays and it's way too much of an easy access than it was a long time ago. If we legalize marijuana completely like Oregon did, um, it'll do the same thing. People will look at it as something you can buy and use and not understand how it impairs a person's judgment, how it impairs a person's reflexes, how it uh, changes a person's drive. Marijuana can make someone less driven, just as alcohol does. I feel that the legalization of marijuana is completely unethical and, and irresponsible because of the dangers associated with drug use. The first time I didn't like it, but it didn't stop me from using it. Second, third time, some high, some hallucinations. And later on, it was like daily thing, like a cigarette. Every day, three, four a day. When I was using marijuana, I never thought I have a problem or issue with it. But then later on, when I ended up using heroin, I kind of could see that that's where it starts. If I wouldn't touch marijuana, there's a big of chance that I never would touch heroin. I'm clean and sober for 12 years and I used heroin, cocaine, crack cocaine, almost everything, ecstasy. But today, after being 12 years clear, only marijuana effects I can feel still. That I have a memory problems, I can't remember people's names. If I see them a couple of hours later, I can't even remember the name. So it's a severe damage only in that area. Everything else got back to normal. I was exposed to drugs and alcohol from the age of 60. The first time I did marijuana, uh, I loved it. It was, you know, uh, everything was brighter and everything smelled better and, you know, it, it just everything was better. My marijuana use uh, took me to other drugs in which I was a addict for 20 years because nobody plans on being an addict. It just happens, you know. It's just that snap from the brain. And, and that's it, and there's no going back. It's a drug, so I don't think people should be using it for recreational purposes. If you use anything irresponsibly, of course you're gonna have terrible side effects, terrible consequences, and I think it's it's pretty serious. Um, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a drug, so of course, you know, it shouldn't be portrayed so lightheartedly. Try to do other things. There's much more you know, productive things for teenagers to do. You know, um, all that marijuana is gonna do is stop your maturity growth. And uh, I'm sure we all have dreams. Whatever it is that when you're a teenager, you have a dream of being something, whether it's a doctor, an actor, whatever. It, it's gonna interfere with any kind of dreams that you have, and it's gonna hold you back from everything. If you can find a way how you can be satisfied in this life, then there's no need for it.